Hello, my name is Frank Schultmann. I'm a professor of complex project management at the University of Adelaide. I also hold a professorship at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany. I'm always faced with some interesting comments and questions from my students, and I would like to share some of these with you. I quite often hear the comment, but as a project manager, we won't have enough time to stop and think about risk. My simple response is, you have to make time. There are risks or uncertainties associated with all projects, and these risks need to be identified and assessed, and appropriate responses developed. Experience shows us that when risks are not considered in this way, there's a greater chance of problems occurring during project execution. Another commonly held belief is that risk management in projects is all about ensuring things don't go wrong on the project. Whilst this is certainly true, I also reinforced that with risk being defined as uncertainty on the achievement of your objectives, there's also a chance that there may be some uncertainties that you feel may have a positive effect on your objectives. If this is the case, then ideally you won't want to maximize these opportunities. Hence, we see that risk management has two elements to it, minimizing losses and maximizing opportunities. The final question for the week is one that I'm often asked, and that is, okay, I understand that risk management is important in a project context and that it has two elements to it. But when in the life of my project should I actually start to apply the risk management process? The simple answer is as soon as possible and definitely during the planning stage. It's crucial that you begin the risk management process before the project is executed. That's all from me this week. Remember to use the forum to full advantage by involving yourself in the discussion. See you next week.